Welcome to another daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. So this time we're going to take a problem that somebody shared with me on LinkedIn. So here's the message. The person is able to create a maximum aggregation in Analytics Cloud based on a measure, let's say revenue by order ID, but also wants to find out which order ID actually had this maximum revenue. So how can we do this in SAP Analytics Cloud? So here's a spreadsheet. We have multiple customers, multiple order IDs. We have the revenue for each of the items. And we need to be able to create the maximum for each order. So the first thing we're going to do is we quickly upload the spreadsheet and create the model. It's a very, very simple model. We have a few dimensions. We have the order date. We have the measures. So we got the model now, so we can actually start creating our story. So we're going to start building the story. We put an empty page in. And we're going to start with the table and we show the information that we have for our orders. The first thing we're going to do is we add the customer, the order ID into the rows, and we're going to show the revenue for each of the order IDs. So remember, we want to find out what is the maximum value and what is the order ID that has this maximum value. So the first thing we need to create is actually an aggregation that gives us the maximum value. So we go in, we add the calculation. In this case, it's an aggregation, or we give it a correct name. The operation is a maximum. As a measure, we will use the revenue. And as a dimension, we will basically make sure it is the order ID. So we want to see the maximum for the order IDs. So if you followed some of the other sessions before, you know that if the order ID is part of the table, it doesn't actually do the maximum. But we can ignore that for now. We create a second item, which is a restricted measure. And this is the critical part. We're actually going to use the constant selection option. Right now, this option is possible for acquired data and for HANA life. So we reuse our aggregation and then we're going to enable the constant selection. So we enable it and then we need to choose across which dimension this formula stays constant. So in our case, that is the order ID and the customer. We'll come back to why we added the customer here. So right now you can see that now the value is constant across the complete table for the, each customer as well as the order ID. So now all we have to do is add a third item, which is a simple formula. So in our case, a calculated measure where we have to compare actually the constant value with the max revenue. And if it's equal, then we actually found our match. Now, obviously this only works if we have one match. If we have multiple, then you would actually see multiple hits as part of your table where the formula will say this is a match. But this is a simple way to actually find out which line item was responsible for the maximum value. So you can see now the table here, it has exactly one match in our example data set, but this is an option how you can actually set up formulas that can give you this information. I hope this was helpful, helped you to solve the problem. And I want to say thank you for watching and listening.